Hello there. All right, so this right here is the Japanese version of Eternal Darkness. And something I noticed when I started running Japanese version for any percent was that on this cutscene on Lindsay, after you get rid of the cutscene, there's some black bars and you can like move there. You're just stuck there for a couple seconds and you are unable to move. So I was wondering what was that? Um, I think I have an answer for that. I think it's a patch and I'm gonna explain why I think that. So we gotta go to US version where that doesn't happen. Into that darkness so, so here we are on the US version and here you don't see any black bars or anything weird after the cutscene. And you can move immediately. Just like that. Okay, so a while ago, I actually noticed something I thought it was my mistake. I accidentally ran into a glitch a while ago. Um, and I, but I thought, because I was hacking the game and all that stuff, I thought it wasn't a glitch and it was just my mistake. Like maybe I did something and I like I didn't pay enough attention or something and I mess up the memory, whatever. But it actually I think it was a glitch. <laughs> and now I got it again. And so this is the glitch. If you go here, so you see the cutscene. And then you pause immediately. Okay. And now I'm gonna save. Okay, and now we're going to load that. Okay, so now something that happened is that this door right here is closed. Which is bad, because this, this is supposed to be open. We already watched the cutscene, so this door should be open and I'm actually softlock here forever and that was just like saving right after the cutscene so it's actually something that could happen to anyone you know it's not like I did some weird glitch or anything I just save after the cutscene so I think developers probably run into this like I guess someone run into this on development or somewhere after doing uh, they did the US version because this doesn't happen on the Japanese version and guess what it only happens if you save on, on that little time you know like that little time you get after this cutscene if you wait enough it won't happen so it's, let's wait a little bit So, let's just wait a little bit, just some seconds, that should be enough. And let's see if we get the, the same glitch. As you can see, the door is fine, it's open. So they probably stumble upon this thing and I guess they didn't want to make a proper solution to this and they just put the black bars so basically they got rid of the player Deep movement, you know. Alright, so now we are in Japanese again and I'm going to find out if my theory is correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause during this part so we are on this part uh, we have no control player has no control here but i'm going to force a pause and see what happens so i'm not supposed to pause here but let's see what happens i mean what can go wrong let's load that Alright, 
So I'm, I'm back here. And the door is closed. So that's the glitch. Good. So this is kind of cool in a sense. It means they actually patch stuff, you know. Up to this point, we hadn't found any kind of patches in the game. We only encountered some censorship here and there in regards to gore and people being dismembered. But we didn't find anything like glitch patch. And pretty much every glitch works on every version. This might be the, the first one. I don't know if there's more instances. I don't remember if there's more instances of black bars. Still interesting. There might be more places that had similar things. Now that I think about it, maybe watching a cutscene does the same. Because those two are similar. Let me go back to US. So this is US. Let's watch a cutscene. So here, the door's open. It has to be open. Ah, uh, it's open. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so watching a cutscene doesn't give the same result. But yeah, but anyways, that was it. I just found it interesting because also I finally got the glitch that I thought it wasn't a glitch, but it was actually a glitch. Anyway, 